Hey, what's going on guys? Me Kova and welcome back to a brand new episode of Transfer Gossip. Fair few decent rumours going on today, so make sure you do hit that like button and obviously subscribe if you're new around here and found the video somehow. So anyway, we're starting off with Ospina. He looks set to leave Arsenal with a £6 million move to Fenerbahce is on the cards. Now, you know, Ospina's always been the backup. He's never really ever had a chance of getting that first team spot. You know, there was just Chesney and now obviously Czech. I can't see him ever getting into the team. They probably will sign a different backup. And six million for a keeper who, let's be honest, is not the best, isn't too much of a bad return either. Next up is the long transfer regarding Lindolf. Obviously, he's currently playing for Benfica. He has had scouts from both Manchester United and Arsenal and also West Brom sneaking in there with a potential bid for Lindelof. The incredible amount of interest in him. I don't really I've not seen too much to kind of put my finger on why he's so good. But you know, three different clubs from the Premiership are also going for him. He looks like he's got the type of build to be um, a centre back in the Premiership, so that may be why that there are a lot of Prem clubs going in for him. I don't know what type of fee would be involved. Obviously, you, you have to talk of United going in for like 30, 40 million for him in the, like the, the January, January transfer window. That didn't turn out, so it might be in the summer, but it might be the same fee as well. Next up is Daily Blind. A bit of a surprising one for me. He sets, apparently, he's set to go back to Holland with Ajax. I think it's kind of interesting that. Um, he would want to leave United, though. I, don't, I really don't see why. He's, yeah, he's a bit part player. He's not playing every single game. But he is at Manchester United, and at the end of the day, that isn't a bad place to be. Um, and move to Ajax would probably be a step down, but he would be guaranteed like first team football all the time and probably end up winning league titles as well. Next up is Theo Hernandez. He's at the, I think he's currently on loan at Alaves. However, he is an Atletico Madrid player. He left back. Liverpool apparently ready to battle Real Madrid for the left back from Atletico Madrid. Now, I'm not sure if it works the same way in Spain, whether rival clubs actually do sell to each other. I would be surprised if Atletico Madrid sold Theo Hernandez to Real Madrid. So that could kind of open the door, but I don't know why Atletico Madrid would want to sell him if he is that good. Next up is Wilfred Zaha. Being linked with a move away from Crystal Palace for quite a long time now. And Guardiola is now next up in terms of going in for him. He will target Zaha from Palace as part of a rehaul at Manchester City. They do need English players in their squad, so that may be that. Uh, I think Zaha is good. Obviously, he had a failed move to a big club, Manchester United, at one point. And now Manchester City are joining Tottenham in expressing their interest in trying to get Zaha. Next up is a player who apparently his contract is running out. Arsenal considering making a move for the German international Goretzka from Schalke. He is stalling on a new deal at Schalke, which a lot of players at Schalke have, have been doing recently. Obviously, Matip left. There is Klasenic, who's meant to be leaving. And also Goretzka now, who apparently is rejecting a deal. So Arsenal already trying to step up their interest in him. A really combative, really good midfielder that Arsenal probably could do with having in their side. Next up is Jermaine Lenz, quite an interesting one that he pops up again. Um, especially with his move to Fenerbahce, he would become permanent if Sunderland, which they look like they are, would be relegated. Um, he is interested in Napoli as well, though, apparently. Now, obviously, had that spell at Sunderland on loan at Fenerbahce, and it's interesting that Napoli are interested, considering like they do have a whole host of wide players, but that may be something to do with potentially Insigne going or Mertens. Perisic is next up, getting linked with a move to Manchester United. They're ready to offer a massive 51 million for the Croatian winger from Inter Milan. Not sure where that fee comes from, but it is a hell of a fee. He's having a really good season at Inter Milan. And I think he would probably suit the way Manchester United play. Very, very good player. Andre Gray is next up. Tottenham are ready to look to the proven striker kind of scene. Uh, in the Premiership to replace Janssen. Obviously, they've had Soldado. He failed in coming to the Premiership. Janssen looks like he's kind of gone down the same route, could only score from penalties. Uh, they're looking for a player who's kind of been there, done that in Andre Gray. And I think it's a smart move. You know, he, I think he'd be happy as a backup striker to Harry Kane, possibly play, playing with Kane at some points. Um, and he obviously does score goals. So it kind of, it's a strong deal if they can get it done for the right type of fee. Romelu Lukaku is next up. A Chelsea deal to sign Lukaku is close to being done, according to some reports. However, Manchester United are also expressing an interest in trying to sign Lukaku as like a long-term uh, Ibrahimovic replacement. Marseille are ready to go in for Olivier Giroud from Arsenal. They're eyeing the Arsenal striker as kind of like a rehaul. Uh, I think Marseille is struggling a little bit at the moment. Obviously, signed Payet for a lot of money. They're ready to try and go back in and try and get more closer to like Mar uh, Monaco and also PSG. 
Kessie is next up having a fantastic season at Atalanta. They have having a great season as well uh, as a club. However, Arsenal, Chelsea, Everton and Liverpool all want Kessie from Atalanta. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if clubs went in for Alejandro Gomez as well from Atalanta because uh, they are having an absolute monster season this season. They're doing really well. Kessie has been a huge part of that, obviously, and it's an interesting one that he may end up in the Prem considering how he plays. Lucas Biglia is next up, currently at Lazio. Chelsea are interested in the Lazio centre mid. I'm guessing they can get him on the cheap because he is, what, 31, something like that. So it's interesting that they're ready to go in for him. I don't think they particularly need a centre mid, so it could be a backup option uh, as a defensive midfielder for, like, the likes of Matic and Kante. He could be, like, a replacement or a backup. Bellotti is next up. United are looking at Bellotti or, as I mentioned before, Lukaku as for their main striker role. Obviously, Ibrahimovic, I think, will stay for another season. He kind of has that contract anyway. And they're looking to Bellotti to try and have a main striker for the long-term future. Pepe is next up. His current Real Madrid deal ends this season. I think he's still worth another season or two for some clubs. And Chelsea are ready to give Pepe a chance from Real Madrid when his contract ex ends. However, he's came out and said that he's willing to sign any contract Real Madrid give him should they end up giving him a little extension. I think... Manchester United may also be interested in Pepe. Wouldn't surprise me um, if they went in for him. Mourinho is a fan of Pepe. Obviously, managing at one point, so it could be a case of Manchester United versus Chelsea for this one. Mohamed Sako has came out and said he would be happy to play for Liverpool again should he get the chance to do so. Obviously, he got sent out on loan, I think, pretty much for bad behaviour. And uh, he's doing really well for Chris Palace. They've really turned their season round, and he has been a huge part of their defensive overhaul. However, whether he gets another chance or not would be surprising because obviously Klopp's kind of said, yeah, you're not my player type thing. I don't want you here. It'd be interesting if he managed to get a second chance. I think, you know, he's a decent player. He probably deserves a second chance. But God knows what's happened actually behind the scenes. Andre Lacazette is next up. Manchester City, the latest club to show an interest in Lacazette. There's going to be one hell of a battle because obviously Leon have said he can leave. And finally, another player who probably is going to have a hell of a battle over him with Sunderland going down. Arsenal scouts were the latest club to be present in Scout and Pickford in their 3-0 defeat to Manchester United. Don't know what type of game he had because obviously they did get beat 3-0, so it couldn't have been that good. But that's all, guys. Make sure you do like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.